right today I'm going to be showing you how to create a feedback loop inside of reason all right to be truthful the best way to rewire is into your host so using reason as a rewired device I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to have time to add effects in my DAW and all that stuff so I'm just working with reason and it doesn't matter which reason you have um, if you have reason 6 it's just a little more powerful stuff like that I'm not copying reason 6 I'm saving for more hardware physical effects things like that anyway feedback once everybody learns the different ways you can use this um everybody's going to be using it because you can put feedback on your bass to make it bassier you can put feedback on your synth sounds to make them synthier you can add melodies that are feedback you can it's a million and one things you can do with it because that's the nature of it and there's actually creating a sustainable feedback loop like you're hearing right now or actually getting the hardware set up that it's on the verge of feedback like it's about to feedback like it resonates and it adds sustain and release to like the sound you're putting through it but it doesn't actually feedback um so yeah it's feedback man we about to get into it show you a few um examples first maybe You see, like, at least from my crazy standpoint, this could be an intro. This could be a prelude to a CD. You know what I'm saying? And then after this, you come in with your songs and, you know what I'm saying, your drums and all that. There's just feedback right now. We got one reason doing more of a bass, lower tones. Another one doing that high one that's like bouncing around kind of. And for me, this is useful. So I'm just trying to spread it and so more people can know what's up. You know what I'm saying? And there's nothing else on the internet that's showing you how to get feedback that sounds like this with your, your digital stuff. And, and so I'm just trying to help people out. So yeah. Gonna basically go through the setup of this, um, and then build one from scratch as quick as I can. Actually, um, there's a mixer, there's a sound source, which is the Octorex, and we're using the mixer or the AUX sends from the mixer <clears throat> and just one you know to keep this video somewhat short is just one AUX send that's going to a compressor linked to a reverb linked to a compressor <clears throat> linked to a stereo imager um, linked to a vocoder that I've put into equalizer mode up to 32 bands into the 16 bands and shifted shifted it down basically all right you know what i'm saying and you could you could have like a combinator controlling these knobs and all the switches you know, i'm not going to get into all of that automation and the power of reason but it's obvious that the sky's the limit with this stuff you know what i'm saying um 
All right, so after the vocoder is going into the scream distortion, you know, doing this thing to it, changing the sound. Um, and like I said, this is just one AUX end and one sound source, the Octorex. Um, so imagine four AUX ends making one feedback loop. Imagine more effects chained on each AUX end. Imagine, you know what I'm saying? so the sky man is really the limit and what kind of sound you want now we get in the bass sound i could change that dumb quick you know what i'm saying it's just what you want and if you want to automate this it was going from high pitch to back to bass back to whatever you want to do you could do you know what i'm saying so now <clears throat> i'm gonna basically just run it from an empty um what you call it an empty session and build it up you know what i'm saying and we're gonna we're gonna see what we come up with excuse the hideousness all right so just selecting the top mixer holding shift selecting the bottom device right click cut all of that i'm actually gonna build all this in the combinator because i shouldn't be teaching you all bad habits it's it's best to work out of combinators especially for rewire purposes but just for being able to have these rotary knobs you can link to anything in your combinator is trust me you want that so everything in combinators um i normally just start off because it's hot rock i put a merger splitter right and from the merger part i take it to the from devices all right and so everything going into this merger is getting sent out the combinator that's sending out to my um my audio interface all right and so the mixer is going to be outputting to the merger you feel me um <clears throat> really dumb people i won't say that but like retarded people you can create feedback just by taking your aux in running it directly to a channel on your mixer and then turning the aux knob up for that channel will get you feedback but it's that high pitch disgusting feedback and it's not controlled because you don't have any compressors or limiters so it's going to blow your speakers and so it's retarded it's not useful it's too loud don't do it all right, so after the mixer, I'm going to get that Dr. X. I should have, like, practiced this so I was faster. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, grab my Dr. Rex. Oh, yeah, it's right here, son. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, got that. All right, let's route it up. <clears throat> channel 1. I'm going to take it to channel 14 because I'm a punk. And right-click the mixer again. I'm going to add that vocoder and holding shift right clicking again gonna add two compressors you know just because man man m class compressors i just rock with these you know what i'm saying like the mastering thing got a limiter and there's other ways to do it i'm just rocking it this way right so m class compressors what else did i have all right holding shift still gonna get a delay in here Give me that goddamn. All right. So, how we gonna wire this up? Is damn. It just fucked up my whole thing. All right. So mixer. Going back to the merger. Fucking damn. See, this is why you should hold shift so it doesn't wire up how it wants to wire up. Um. Yeah. All right. So now we're going to go out from AUX4. Trust me. AUX4 going into the first, well, the vocoder into the first compressor, second compressor to the FN reverb and the reverb back to, say, channel four because we're coming out of AUXN4. Right. So that's how we're gonna rock that. We're gonna tell this to run. 
Alright, our vocoder, remember we just got to change the equalizer mode. And I personally like it at 32 bands. It's just how I rock and I always kill the highs. Because I hate that high pitch shit. And um, yeah, so now I'm going to send audio from that Rex track, that Octor Rex, to AUX Sam 4, which has our stuff on it. Right, so we can hear that affected chain. And the reason I put it on AUXM4 is just for this button, this pre-fader button, so I can press it, turn down the volume. So we only hear the affected channel, right? Because if I don't have that press, it kills the sound because the volume's down. All right, <clears throat> hey, so now to get feedback, all we got to do is make our effects is coming in on channel four send out to channel four creating that loop right and we got our compressors right here the threshold is set like 12 o'clock so it's turning it down 17 db on each of them yada yada cool cool so let's just see what happened here comes the feedback i'm gonna turn down the threshold contain it see without these man your head would be exploding right now all right and see that's the basic idea you know what i'm saying playing with so you just got something like that maybe you would use something like that Maybe you wouldn't, you know what I'm saying? This is like real quick. This is like the simplest setup I can show you. And you kind of got a base This might be worthy of sampling. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a new way of looking at music. It's a new way to um help stagnant old things become new again. You know what I'm saying? Because we always saving for that next toy we trying to cop. So this is a way of rejuvenizing your old hardware your old virtual sounds and samples you know what i'm saying because you would never get a sound like this from the dr octorex without feedback how you gonna get the bass sound like this from a drum that you can't you know what i'm saying so this just opened the doors to a million possibilities like i said you can have multiple effects coming from one auxn channel and then you can have multiple AUX send channels. And then you can have multiple mixers. You see what I'm saying? And then multiple um, audio merger splitters down here to merge the signal before you. The sky's the limit. And I'm, I'm going to stop saying that. I know I said that like a thousand times. But um, yeah, I'm just putting this out there. Um, I'm probably going to do some more videos, more in depth, more showing you more cool examples of what feedback can really do when it's doing some really cool shit but yeah man check it out play with it um you're gonna you're gonna find something it's just how it is you're gonna you're gonna find something and you're gonna be like yeah so that's my video